Sometimes engineering is just figuring out how not to spend a ton of money on something that should be pretty simple. That's what this video is going to be about. I found a problem in my day to day life and I could spend like $600 to try and solve this problem or I could try and fix it myself. This is a wing foil harness. They're pretty expensive but they serve an important purpose. They take the load off of your arms when you're holding the wing and help you make more precise adjustments to your wing angle. What is a wing foil? If you've never heard of a wing foil, it's basically a mix of windsurfing and hydrofoiling. You've got a board with a foil underneath and you hold a wing shaped sail that propels you. So here's the issue. A proper wing foil harness setup costs a lot and I already wear a life jacket every time I go out. So I figured why not use that as the base to try and design my own harness. The first thing I had to figure out was how to attach a hook to my body in an effective way. The life jacket has horizontal straps that wrap around and are held in place by stitched sleeves. Those sleeves seemed like a decent mounting point. They're not made for this kind of load, but they do sit in the right position between my waist and chest, which is roughly where you want the hook for a harness. Of course, if I just looped a rope through those sleeves, the stitching would probably rip out after a few tugs. So I needed something more rigid, something that could spread the load out without stressing out the fabric. My solution was to make an internal brace, basically a small insert that fits inside the sleeves and has channels to hold the rope in place. The idea is that the rope bites into the brace, not the fabric, so that the life jacket keeps everything in position rather than taking all the stress. It distributes the force and keeps things from shifting around. Then I moved on to the hook itself. I started with a quick prototype printed in PLA just to get the size and shape figured out. I attached it using some wire just to get a sense of how it would feel and work in its position. Once that seemed okay, I moved on to TPU. TPU is flexible but still strong enough to handle decent loads, especially if you print it with a high infill. I went with something pretty dense to make sure it could handle my weight. Now you might be wondering, why not use something harder like ABS or even metal? And the answer is, when you're foiling, you crash a lot. Like, a lot a lot. And you usually hit your gear when you fall. A rigid hook would be more likely to bruise, crack, or break something, either me or the board. TPU gives me enough rigidity to hold tension from the wing, but it also flexes just enough to absorb impacts when I fall. Of course, the first print didn't go very well. It flexed too much and the geometry didn't hold up under load, so I redesigned the profile to spread the force better and beefed up the infill even more. The final version held up, and I can actually hang from it without it snapping, which is plenty strong. Next up, connecting everything. I used some Dyneema line, which is way stronger than I needed, but it's what I had on hand. Dyneema is insanely strong for its thickness and doesn't stretch much at all. This line was actually from a trapeze drop line, so I knew it could hold my weight with no problem. I cut it, spliced it, and wrapped it through the groove in the hook, across the back brace insert, and through the strap sleeve in a way that kept it tight and secure without stressing any one point too much. Once everything was assembled, I got the board set up and waited for some good conditions. I'd like to quickly thank the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. PCBWay is an online PCB manufacturing service that can make custom parts for your projects. Their services range further than just PCB manufacturing. They also provide 3D printing, CNC machining, metal printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding services. All these abilities are surprisingly affordable and include quick shipping times to get your parts to you fast. Regardless of what kind of project you might be working on, PCBWay can help create professional and affordable custom products for you. Their services support makers like me to create cool projects like this one, and they can do the same thing for you too. Thanks again to PCBWay. The first time I tried hooking in, I breached the foil and crashed.
This would definitely take a long time to get used to. I was using a 7 meter wing on this day because the wind was pretty light and spotty. This large wingspan paired with the location of the hook being slightly higher than my belly button made hooking in slightly challenging. I adjusted the line I was clipping into to be longer to compensate for this, but this made it harder to clip into the line as the line flopped around more. This was to be expected considering it was my first time trying to foil with a harness, but I didn't really get more comfortable and confident with the harness until a few sessions later when I was out by myself. All in all, this was a solid project that I had a good time working on. It functioned as hoped and saved me a lot of money. Is this setup comparable to the real thing? I have no idea, since I've never used a real harness, but I can imagine it doesn't. There's still a lot of things I could do to improve the harness I made, but I've got other projects I want to work on, so I'm going to leave it here. I really appreciate it if you made it this far in the video, and let me know what you thought about this project, or what you want to see me do in the future.